Hey guys, welcome back to The Sims 4 Let's Play, and we're currently on part 13. <laughs> and I'm so sorry about part 12, you guys. I had this awesome idea that um, we all would be invited to their wedding, and I would have me, my friends, and my little sister in the video, and it would be like we were a part of the wedding. But the audio sucked, and I should have known this. I... Wasn't, I guess I wasn't even thinking when I decided about that good idea, but it was a good idea, but it wasn't executed the way I thought it would be. So I had to um, make the, uh, the video a little bit different. And again, I apologize about this wedding. But maybe in the future there will be um, other weddings and I'll do things a little differently just to make sure that you will actually get to see the wedding and be a part of the wedding, okay? This won't be the only wedding that we'll ever have. So um, we may have, their kids may get married here and you actually get to see, you know, the wedding in, um, in its full glory. But yeah, I just wanted to apologize about that. And and thank you so much for um, tuning in for part 13. <laughs> part 13 will be a Let's Play. <laughs> Alright, um, well, where we left off is they got married. And now we're going to take them on their honeymoon. Which, since um, uh, there's only one vacation spot, uh, they're going to go to um, Granite Falls. From um, Outdoor Retreat uh, Game Pack. So we are actually going to go take a vacation right now with Dina. And uh, yeah, this this will be counted as our honeymoon. <laughs> hey, Swarcelatuni. Squire Borbehe. From Maya Hoopitu. Sposhim Avani. Squaz Nelcher. How does he only have three hundred and sixty one dollars? My mind is blown. Oh, okay, I could I could have <laughs> I could have swore that he had two thousand dollars the wedding, you guys. Oh, oh, oh. The wedding itself cost $1,250 as soon as I click Let's Play because the wedding party is $1,000 plus the entertainment was $250. But I totally forgot that when I put the food on the table, it took my money. So the food on the, um, The food on the table, like the uh, buffet table with the fountain, that took my money. So now we're left with only $361. And, whoo, good thing someone's going to be working tomorrow because they both, they both will get paid for being here. I'm pretty sure they both will. But now I got to choose. Are they going to go to Riverside Retreat and be there for one day? Or are they going to go for um, the campgrounds and be there for two days? Because I really wanted something like this. Like I would be here for a day or something. Maybe, maybe they'll bring their kids in the future, you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's that will happen. You know what, we can just... This is a honeymoon, you guys. This is a honeymoon. I don't want them to be sleeping outside. Yeah. We're gonna go here. And... They'll only be away for a day because all McCallahan's money went to the wedding. So, I guess that'll work, you guys. 
I was like, no. But it's a good thing that um, he got like $2,000 or we wouldn't be able to go on a vacation at all. <laughs> so, that um, destination doesn't seem too bad. I have never went to Granite Falls, and as soon as I show up, it says, One day left of this vacation. To extend the trip, choose extend vacation on the phone or computer. <laughs> it already told me. That's fine. That's fine. But, uh, yeah, let's open this and put our cake in there. And that's what we'll be eating on and off of for a while. And it's only got 79 bucks. <laughs> 79. Um... Obviously, it's their honeymoon, and so this will be about the uh, good time for, you know, them to get snug under the bed. So, yeah, let's, um, let's, you know, woohoo with your new bride. Because it's about that time, it's honeymoon time, and they only got one day to really enjoy it. It's been a long day, and now they get to be together. It seems like a good time. So. <laughs> That's a good thing. It says, break out the candles, make it romantic. Dina and Brody are woohooing for the first time. Dina McC uh, McCallahan. Yeah, Dina McCallahan. I was right. <laughs> Dina McCallahan. So, uh, this is her first time. That, that pleases me a lot because I am pretty sure that um, we're just going to let them have their time. Because <laughs> um, I am... Uh, I was pretty sure that she could have been, you know, flirting with different guys and maybe woohooed with them a little bit. But I'm so glad that this is Dina's first time along with Brody's first time, you know. That pleases me a lot. Ooh, what a night. They were at it for a while. Let's see. Oh, I missed it, didn't I? Yep, I did. I didn't get to see what kind of woohoo they had. It probably just said first woohoo. That's probably what it said. Ooh, Brody is starving. Uh, let's eat some more of your wedding cake. Well, I'm telling you, you guys, this is going to be a very, very short um, honeymoon. So we got to make the most of it. We got to go out there. We can go hiking. We can, um, you know, grill, um, play this, play that, you know, out be outside and tell stories around the campfire. We need to do stuff like that, you know. But I think we will come back because we don't have no money to actually stay here for a while. So, yeah, we'll, we'll actually, we'll actually come back. Dana sleeps a lot. Where are they supposed to take a bath? Oh, it's outside. Okay. It's like, uh... <laughs> so this isn't like a luxury honeymoon. But it's a honeymoon that I, I'm willing to settle for. An account that um, he has no money. She is still sleeping. <laughs> Come on, Dina.
Are you full? Yeah, you fully slept. W wake up and get yourself in order. <laughs> She's got 17 days to have kids. Essence of flavor. Ooh. She wants to be a master misologist is what she wants to do. In her career, she's an assistant dishwasher. Hmm. Your job isn't the best, but we'll we'll let you keep your job because of your aspiration. And plus you are ambitious, so excuse me. So uh She wants to sit on the bed and eat. Well, okay then. You can go ahead and do that. <laughs> and you can sit here and watch sports while we wait on her to get done with eating and taking a quick shower. You done eating? Clean that up. And then go outside and take a shower. <coughs> Excuse me. She's like, ooh, I never took a shower outside before. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, a horrible shower. She's having a little promotion anxiety, yeah, so she needs a job because if she doesn't have a job, she would probably go crazy. So both parents will be working and that's and that's a good thing because that means uh, more money. And then let's challenge Dina. To play. Hung Rebo. Finnet Farpo. Finnet Fibo. She's like, really? I'm gonna beat you for that. Watch, I'm gonna win. You're back. Who do y'all think is gonna win, Brody or Dina? Oh, Dina won. <laughs> Brody. Oh my goodness. Well, Dina won. That was a quick game. Um, let's come over here and, uh, let's come over here. <laughs> See if they could play, you know, that together. Play with Dina. <laughs> They're spending the day outside for the outdoor retreat. Throwing horseshoes, having a little fun, enjoying it. Yeah. I believe this is a good enough honeymoon for what The Sims 4 has got so far. But when I, what vacation spot I'm looking for is like a beach area. So that would be pretty cool. It would like remind me of like um, The Sims 2 um, Tiki or whatever. Not Tiki, but um, I can't remember what the um, vacation spot was called. But like a spot like that where they can like hula dance and you know. Do uh, fun things like that. So we need a vacation spot for the beach. This game is probably going to last a while until someone wins. Uh, 
Dina won a game. Let's see if uh, Brody can win a game. <laughs> He won. Uh, so it went from Dina winning to Brody winning. So it's one on one, you guys. No one's beating the crap out of no one yet. <laughs> we got three pieces of cake left. I suggest we munch on the cake. Oh, she's sad. She's a loser. He was embarrassed when he lost, and she got sad when she lost. Yeah, that seems legit. <laughs> Seems legit. Uh, but they're both extremely happy still because they're married, you know. And they can't believe it. They're just married. I wonder if they get paid for being here. I believe, I believe they do. I think, I believe they do. He is very confident. Yay, he got paid. While being on vacation. Um, we can extend vacation for another day. Because just one day of this vacation is not enough. They need to have like a few days to themselves. Plus, plus they're both getting paid and... Excuse me. They're both getting paid and um, I just need to make sure that I have enough time to, you know, do stuff. Oh, and the girls right here. Okay, what is this? Ooh, wild strawberries. Um, I think right now we could, um, what could we do? We could, uh, um, let them go hiking for a little while. And we'll follow them both around and, uh, see what happens then. I know this is not the let's play that I will be joining any clubs, frankly, because that's that's just not what I'm interested in the interested for in this let's play until the aspiration calls for a club. And um that is that's just you know that's just what I'm gonna do. I wish that when we go, they go hiking, they could walk together, you know, it says go hiking with, choose a sim, and they could walk together so they wouldn't be separated during the hike, you know. He's home. She's still hiking. She's like, this place is beautiful. What a good hike, what a good hike. Um, now let's hip bump your wife and hug her. 
And then we will um, no discuss interest. Just chat with her for a little bit. Yes. Telling an inside joke. Because right now I'm getting some of these whims out of the way. Because, you know, they want to do stuff when they're on their honeymoon. And I want to make sure I get them to do what they want to do. So that their honeymoon will be great. Really? You don't know where he works? Nope. The only thing she knows about him is that he's active. Get married to Bro you already mar <laughs> you already are married to Brody. Um, can't get you already are engaged to Brody. She's wanting stuff again and again. They are already engaged and married. Are you are you stupid? <laughs> um. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so now, um, how many pieces of cake left? I'm pretty sure there's only one piece left, yeah. So, I think it's about time for, you know, Brody to grill something. <coughs> Excuse me, to grill something and... I want him to grill steaks. Mmm, they're gonna have steaks. He's a good cook, Dina. You got nothing to worry about. He's gonna grill some steaks for y'all. Lucky girl. Mmm. <laughs> What is it? What is it? It's good. Mmm, he cooked some steaks. Okay, grab a plate. That looks really, really good. Get to have steak for supper. Mmm. <laughs> I might have to just take that home with Brody. Because he does not have a grill and that steak. Those steaks look delish. So he's probably going to take that home with him when, he leave, when they leave, um... Granite Falls. If they don't eat it all, which I don't think they'll eat it all. This will actually be the first food they had while being here. Because they had cake for breakfast and lunch, and now they're having steak for dinner. The only thing that would make this even nicer is they had little bitty candles. You know? I don't know why I'm just sitting here while they're eating steak, but I was, I was. Are y'all ready for another woohoo session? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what this uh, honeymoon's gonna be all about, really, is, um, you know, them woohooing and uh, enjoying each other's company and things like that. <laughs> Dana was like, oops, I know, you're on your honeymoon, I'm sorry. <laughs>
I think in one of these woohoos, uh, we'll probably get her pregnant, but maybe not yet. Give him a little bit of prophecy. <laughs> Pleasantly satisfied and pleasantly satisfied. Alright, you guys. Well, I'm going to stop it here. And um, I hope you enjoyed this part. And I'll see you in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. And everybody have a great day.